And then in the distance formula, when you're subtracting, you may end up with a different sign initially, but once you square it, because if I say negative 3 minus a negative 2, or negative 2 minus 3, wait, I'm sorry, this is 3 minus a negative 2, that's 5, right? And this is negative 5. But that's okay because we've got to square it. And so either way, you're going to get 25. Okay. Sidebar, sorry. Okay, look at this equation. If we are going to put this in standard form for a circle, tell me what you think you would need to do first. Very good. Okay, then do it. Set it up. Leave your spaces to complete the squares. Add your numbers to the other side of the equal sign and then finish it off. Sean. No, because you're bringing 14x. No, you just gotta, yeah, whatever those signs are. You're making it work out according to what's up here. Okay, after you get your formula, identify your center and your radius and draw the circle. Is this the equation you got? <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Which means that the center is at negative 7, negative 3, and the radius is equal to 2 square roots of 2. Now, if you've got to graph that, how do you count 2 square roots of 2? You put it in the calculator and you figure out about what it is. That's approximately 2.8. So that means when you're moving up and down and left and right, you go almost three units up, almost three whole units down, almost three whole units to the left, and almost three to the right. So, is this circle perfectly tangent to the axis here? No, because no, if I go almost three units, I'm right underneath it. And then almost three down. And you've got your circle. Tonight for homework, you're going to be taking equations that look like this, and you're going to be completing the square to put them in their correct form. You're going to identify the center, 
which means actually write center equals and you put it, radius equals and you put it. So tomorrow when we're checking, it's easy for the person who's checking your paper to find it. And then you draw your circle on your graph. This is your homework assignment. Ooh.